You call yourself an ephemeral artist? That's right, right. an ephemeral artist. Uh, because the labyrinths, just like life, don't last. And I actually put a little message in labyrinths. They're, they're really very spiritual things in ancient. And uh, I signed all mine in the center with the message one way. I saw because that. Because a difference in a labyrinth is, uh, and a maze is there's only one path. Some of the labyrinths start off with a seed pattern in the center, and the mm. seed is a cross. Oh, okay. And one of the other labyrinths I do uh, is a copy of one from Chartres Cathedral in France, outside of Paris, that dates from the uh, 13th century. And uh, pilgrims used to walk this labyrinth if they were too poor to make a real pilgrimage oh, okay. to uh, Jerusalem and this was their symbolic uh, pilgrimage. And uh, there are other types, uh, there's Indian ones, mm -hmm. uh, American Indians, and there's also ones from uh, the Indian continent. Wow. Well you can see where it's kind of dry but it's hard yeah. to get in, in, in the, the wet. So wet. That's going to dry out here. Is, uh, goes on. But before, uh, I've done once that going out to... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you can see right where the edge of the water is. Right. There. And uh, they're better when I do them close to the pier because this gives you a great aerial view. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably do one right below here. I'll do it right, right here. Right here. That'll be... Probably big enough to do. How uh, big are they? How big do you make them? They, they vary. Uh, the biggest one had 27 rings, and that's how I judge the size. Mm -hmm. It's how many layers. Mm -hmm. uh, 27 rings, and to walk that one from the beginning to the middle was about three quarters of a mile. It's deceptively <laughs> big. Right, because it's all twisting and yeah, on itself. Just, right, just keep going. Back and forth. Up and there was low tide, and uh, someone had abandoned a broken beach umbrella. Look at all this blank, empty space, and here's a stick. And uh, I did my first one, and then I started coming down with a variety of different sticks. And this is the one that I've uh, settled on as my favorite. I call this paintbrush. <laughs> Take the silver thread of a spider's web 